that's a new V and pretty good. But I think the bottle looks better. That's why I bought it. But anyways, um, it's really good today because um, I'm going to make a new video and it's going to be about setting up a domain name email. So basically, it's going to be like admin at your name.com. For example, my one is support at hoganshua.com. But what we're going to do is actually connect it to Gmail because Gmail is just much easier to manage and you're going to be able to receive all your emails that go to your domain name email in your Gmail inbox and you're going to be able to send out emails as your domain name email, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to jump into the screen right now and yeah, it's going to be a quick video and you're going to love it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is log into your control panel. Sometimes your interface might be a little bit different because you might not be using HostGator, but what you can do is press on control F or command F and basically type in email or email account and then just click on enter. So that will help you locate it easily. So we're going to click on email accounts. So for the email here, you can put in any um, extension that you want. So for example, I'm going to put in test at hoganshaw.com. Your one might be um, sales at yourdomain.com or support at yourdomain.com. So sometimes if you have more than one domain, you might need to select it from the drop down box. But normally for most of you guys, you should just have one. So for the password, we're going to set in a password and set that in again. You can also change the mail quota um, to 500 or unlimited. I'm just going to keep it as that. And as you can see here, it says upgrade to professional Gmail. That's not what we want. Um, as you can see, it's $5 a month. We can pretty much do the same thing for free. So we're going to click on create account. And that's going to take a few seconds. And we're going to need to scroll down and it should say account has been created. You can check your email accounts here. So if you actually scroll down to test at hoganshua.com, it's been created. So if you click on more, so you can actually access the webmail here, um, but the interface is not good and I don't really like it at all. So we're going to connect it to Gmail now. So what we're going to do is log into your new Gmail account. And over here on the top right, click on the year icon, click on settings. Okay, so let's click on the account and import tab up here and then scroll down to check mail from accounts. So what we're going to do is add a mail account. Okay, so we're going to put in the email that we just created. So it's going to be test at hoganshua.com and then click on next. So that's going to be selected and then we're going to click on next again. And what you want to do is you want to copy over the email and paste it in for your username as well. So for your password, put in the password that you just set in. For the pop server, it should be mail.yourdomainname.com. So my one is mail.hoganshua.com. For the port, normally it's going to be 110. Sometimes if you have an SSL, which basically means you have an HTTPS on your domain, then you'll need to select 995. Okay, so for most of you guys, it's going to be 110, and then you want to select leave a copy, and then you want to select label incoming messages um, so that basically you know that it's coming from here. Okay, so if you do have an SSL on your domain name, then you'll need to select this. Okay, so we're going to click on add an account. I'm going to click on X for that. So what it's asking here is do you want to actually send email as this um, from this email address. So we're going to select yes and then click on next. So you can change your name here, but normally it's going to be just your name and then click on next step. Okay, for the SMTP server, it's just going to be default here. Port, it's going to be 587. So we want to paste in our email address here again. And then for your password, we're going to set that in. So that is the same password that you set in your cPanel, okay? So we're going to go back here. Okay, let's find that window again. And most of you guys are going to select TLS, okay? So if you have an SSL, then select that. Click on Add Account. Okay, so what it's going to do now, it's going to send a verification email to this email address, all right? So what we're going to do here is go back to your Gmail and you should see this um, added here. Okay, so it says no mails fetched. So what we're gonna do is click on check mail now. 
and it's gonna check your email. So hopefully it's going to show up. Okay, so one mail has been fetched and that basically means that you've connected it properly. So what we're gonna do is go back to your inbox and then you should get an email here from the Gmail team. Sometimes it might be under updates or promotions or whatever, but just find that email and then click into it. And then what you'll need to do is you need to copy over the confirmation code um, or you can click the link. Okay, so if you copy over the confirmation code, let's go back to that tab and then just paste in that number, click on verify, and then basically that has verified your email. So what you can actually do now is you can click on compose and let's say you wanna send an email to, I don't know, support at hoganshua.com and what you wanna set this as is you can set it from uh, test at hoganshua.com now. So that's really cool because you can send email as um, using your Gmail and it's just a lot easier to manage everything. And yeah, pretty much that's it for the video. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you guys in the next tutorial.